Revenge Films. About 10 years ago, when I was in college, I worked at this convenience store inside a station. There was a bunch of lockers next to the store, so customers often asked me to break their bills into quarters. Both the convenience store and the lockers were owned by the same company, so it wasn't a problem. During busy hours, things got pretty hectic, but it was the countryside, so after 10 p.m., the station was pretty much empty. That day, I was working late. It was about to be midnight. Then a lady walked in. She was wearing a white dress. What was she doing here? She looked like she was in a hurry. She looked around the store and came running towards me as soon as she spotted me. Hey, I need to use the lockers. Can I get some change? Of course. Come on over to the register, I replied. She handed me a $10 bill, so I gave her four quarters and nine $1 bills. Ah, I got a lot of stuff, so can I get all of it in quarters? What? How many quarters does she need? But I had enough change in the register, so I gave her more quarters. The lockers usually cost a dollar per day. For every day, you had to pay an extra dollar. But if you start at 9 in the evening and come back the next morning at 8, you'll be charged $2 because the day ends at 1 a.m. each day. It wasn't a 24-hour cycle. That's just how these lockers worked. Since the day ended at 1 a.m., if you start the clock at 11 p.m. and came back at 7 a.m. the next morning, you'd still be charged $2. Needless to say, there's a sign next to the lockers that explains all of this. In writing. So it was midnight. Meaning if she started using the locker now, she'd be paying a dollar for just one hour. I decided to tell her about this, just in case. Hey, about the lockers, be careful about- Then she interrupted me and said, Sorry, I I'm in a hurry. Thanks. Then she left and got back in the car and she came out of. I looked out and watched. She took out some stuff and started carrying them to the lockers. About an hour later, she came back in and bought garbage bags and lots of ice. Then she asked me to break another $10 bill. It said I had to pay another dollar. Oh, I tried to explain. It's okay. I gotta go. Then she ran off again. About a week later, I got a call from my manager. It was my day off. He told me to come to the store. Apparently the police were there, asking questions. This can't be good. The police were everywhere. The entrance to the lockers was sealed off. They had keep out signs all over the place. It was straight out of CSI or something. Detectives, forensics, cops, all that. Something was terribly wrong. I went into the office. There were many police officers and detectives wearing suits. When they saw me, they came up to me and showed me a picture. We need to ask you a few questions about this woman. What? It was that woman in the white dress! The police started asking me questions. So you know her. When did you last see her? About a week ago, she came to the store at night and asked me to give her change for the lockers. She gave me $20 in total, I think. I see. Do you remember the exact time? Uh, I think it was Saturday around midnight. So, Sunday, I guess. The manager pulled up some CCTV footage from that day. It was me and that lady on tape. They took a close look at the footage. That's her alright. They started taking notes. What did she do? I had a bad feeling about this. And I was right. 
They found a severed human body in the lockers! They already had her in custody. They were just going around gathering evidence and testimony. They started covering this story on the news, too! The police didn't tell me, but according to the news, it wasn't just the lockers. She dumped small parts of the body all over the place. Trash cans in the mountains, etc. She was hoping that wild animals would take care of the small parts and that the smell of garbage would hide the stench. She used the lockers for big parts she couldn't chop up. She was planning to come back next weekend and bury them in the mountains. The manager told me what happened after that. The thing is, it was summer. It was hot as hell. The body parts in the lockers rotted in no time. The smell was just awful! One day, one of the customers reported it to the manager and he opened up. Inside, he found a black garbage bag and melted bags of ice. He nearly threw up from the smell alone. He called the cops right away. The police arrived and opened the bag, but the manager couldn't take it anymore. He ran back to the store and threw up. He said he still couldn't get the smell out of his nose, even after a week. It must have been terrible. Then they arrested the woman. The victim was her boyfriend. After killing him, she chopped him up in the bathtub, put the body parts in the bags, and used ice to deal with the heat. She actually came to the store many times after that to buy ice. About a week later, they cleared out the lockers. The company installed new lockers and got rid of the old ones. Things were finally back to normal. But unsurprisingly, people stopped using these lockers. About a year later, they shut it down completely. I kept working there, though. But I hated taking out the trash because I had to pass by those lockers. It got really dark at night, so it was kind of scary. I was constantly looking over my shoulders. I still have nightmares about that lady. She chases me down and tries to kill me. Oh, and this one time? This biker came by. He probably didn't know about the incident. That night he slept near the lockers. When I went to check on him, he was moaning in pain. Ouch! Help! I panicked when I saw that. Why? Because he was sleeping right in front of the locker the body was found in! How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more!